Hi everybody and welcome to your Monday Morning Moment. I'm Arnold Westfall and today is Monday, December the 14th. As always, I'm here supporting the Goals for Life game. If you don't know about Goals for Life game, please check it out at goalsforlifegame.com. There you'll find resources and people committed to helping each other achieve their goals and live the lives of their dreams. Today we're getting close to the holiday. Christmas is upon us, Thanksgiving's behind, and I want to talk about just a few keywords that popped up for me as I moved forward towards the conclusion of 2020 with the final holiday of the year, New Year's Eve, and the first holiday of next year, New Year's Day. Gratitude, friendship, vulnerability, and trust. So gratitude is really talked about a lot, you know, particularly in personal development, goal setting, right? Be grateful for what you have. But I'm going to call a little bit of BS on this. Gratitude can also be an excuse to remain mediocre. It can be an excuse to stay stuck. Well, I'm just going to be grateful for what I have and not worry so much about what I want. Well, that just keeps you held back. Be grateful about your ability to move forward. Be grateful about the things in your life that are helping keep you on track, about the things that come to you as a result of your forward momentum. See, gratitude is about the journey. Be grateful for your failures. Be grateful for results that don't work out the way you want because those lessons are also incredibly valuable in keeping you motivated to move forward, to look for new solutions as you move towards your goals. Friendship. I believe that this work is best done with friends. I believe this work is done in a group very effectively. People are mirrors for us, and that sounding board of another person, that reflection back of what they see in us from the outside, both good and things that need to be worked on, is incredibly valuable. We're looking out. I can't turn that around and see myself. No way. I need somebody else to push back on me, to say, hey, you're doing great, or, you know, that wasn't really like you. That didn't seem authentic. So friendship is really, really valuable. Where it becomes incredibly valuable is the area of vulnerability. When we're willing to be vulnerable and show our true nature, drop the masks, we can get real with ourselves. And only by showing that to other people will it be reflected back. Just as I said, we can't see ourselves if we are authentic with our friends and vulnerable, particularly when it comes to our goals. Heaven forbid somebody should admit a goal scares them, or I doubt, or I don't know that I'm worthy, or I don't know that I deserve this great thing I'm working towards. Heaven forbid we say that, because what just might happen is the friends we're in this with might reflect back how worth we are, how worthwhile we are, how deserving we are, how powerful we are, how creative insightful, intelligent, knowledgeable, wise, all those things. Heaven forbid that happen, because that might destroy our storyline and actually lead us to getting to that goal, which is the reason we're here. Which takes me to the last word of the day, which is trust. You see, we have to trust our friends. We have to trust those people we choose to work with. These are partners. And we have to trust ourselves, the knowledge that you know what, damn it, I am going to do this. And there will be stumbling blocks. And I trust myself to keep moving forward. My pace may pick up, my pace may slow down, but I'm going to trust myself, regardless of the feedback the world gives me, and inclusive of the feedback the world gives me. Those two things are not mutually exclusive. And the last thing I want to say is all of these points come to a head in the holidays because we're with our families. And being authentic with our families is really what the nature of holiday family conflict is all about. You know, it's dramatized in films with uh, somebody bringing someone home as a partner the parents disapprove of. Whether that's a racially mixed couple or a same gender couple or a transgender couple or something comes home. Guess who's coming to dinner? There's always that I did. I'm going to bring someone home who my parents disapprove of. And the message behind that is that my parents will disapprove of me. My family will disapprove of me if I'm really authentically myself. And that's just a load of crap. People love us because they love us. They love who we are. And the more authentically genuine we are, the more they're going to love us. 
So I'm going to encourage everybody to move into this holiday with a fierce determination to be yourself 100% with gratitude, in friendship, with vulnerability, and with trust. Leave 2020 with the fierceness of a hurricane and enter 2021 shining, genuinely authentic, reaching your goals and living the life of your dreams. That's my encouragement for you today. I hope you've enjoyed this Monday morning moment. Uh, we've got a couple more before the end of the year, and I'm sure I'll think of something else to say when those roll around. For now, bye-bye and take care.